You're watching the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. For match previews, match day vlogs, match reactions and more, make sure to subscribe to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. Hello and welcome back to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel where of course we're giving you all the latest news, views and opinions on all things Albion. We are back again today with another match day vlog for you uh, from West Bromwich Albion versus Blackpool at the Hawthorns. Uh, it's a good Friday uh, game of course, uh, typically in the EFL Championship and the EFL itself. You have plenty of games over the Easter weekend of course coming up on Monday, Nottingham Forest away as well. So. Yes, uh, another game closer to the season finishing, I suppose, which makes for, for nice listening for me uh, and hopefully the, hopefully yourselves as well, because I think we just all want this season to go away. But um, as for Blackpool, they haven't won here, I think, since 1964, which I think is a, a big record and obviously one that I'm sure will be broken today if we see any of the standards that we saw against that were set against Stoke City. But yeah, looking forward to this one, hoping for a more positive display. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy this vlog. We'll be capturing all the atmosphere and footage from the game. And yeah, comment your thoughts on the match below. And let's get to the Hawthorns for West Bromwich Albion versus Blackpool. In place here at the Hawthorns where Blackpool will be looking to pick up their first victory here since 1964. Albion have made six changes to their uh, lineup from the last game against Stoke City where they lost 3-1. Uh, Doro Shea comes into the side at centre-back. David Button replaces Sam Johnston in goal, who's not even on the bench. Adam Reach comes in for Connor Townsend, along with Callum Robinson in the midfield, who replaces Taylor Gardner-Hickman. Darnell Furlong also returns to the side, along with Carla Grant, who replaces Brady Dean Garner. Uh, Matt Phillips also returns to the bench after a lengthy injury. We haven't seen him since the 2-0 defeat uh, against Millwall at the Den back in January. So. Yeah, it's, it's a big game here at the Hawthorns. I'll be looking to end the season with some uh, good old uh, positivity, I suppose. But yeah, at the moment, things aren't looking too positive. But yeah, looking forward to this one here at the Hawthorns.
That's that, West Bromwich Albion 2, Blackpool 1. Yeah, I must confess to not being in my seat when when the goal went in. Did catch it as I was leaving the ground, but no, didn't manage to actually get any of the sort of footage from, from inside the ground. So apologies for that. Uh, well, apologies to you for not getting the footage. I'm not apologising to myself because I could not sit through any more of that. Let's not... It's great to get a win. Don't get me wrong. First things first, a win is the most important thing. And that's really nice to see us getting that. But my God, what an awful performance again. And I, I might even say we, did, we didn't We did deserve to... I'm sure we did deserve to get a point out of that. But I wouldn't say that we certainly deserved to win. I, I think that was just another dreadful game. And it felt like a pre-season friendly or one of the games at the end of the season, like your last game of the season where sun's out. You know, it just seems like everybody's having a little bit of a jolly... And it didn't feel like anything serious, to be honest. There wasn't really any intensity in the game at all. And yeah, I think Callum Robinson, of course, uh, stood out as a poor performer today for me. Got booed by a large section of the supporters and, and sarcastically cheered when he was bought off. Um, I'm not I'm not a massive fan of the booing during the game. But, uh, you know, players are, are, are people. Uh, I think that's important to remember. I do think his dis the performance deserved booing, but I wouldn't personally boo myself for that reason. And... I just think that ducking out of that 50-50 with the goalkeeper, probably 70-30 in his favour actually, was pretty pretty awful. He had the chance to nip the ball around him and score, but chose not to. Uh, yes, yeah, just just several sort of performers in there that, that just really went missing. I thought Carroll played well yet again, obviously bagged his goal early on. Um, Matt Clark was good again. Telegard and Hickman looked really nice when he came on, a really nice diagonal ball to create the goal. Um, other than that, I'm, 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 I'm struggling a little bit with, with our, with our sort of star performers today. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I think that, um, I think we've got to keep, um, I thought Reach actually was okay. I thought Reach was okay. He, he can't cross for Toffee, but he did try. Uh, he did try his best. But yeah, I just think that's another pretty abject performance. Bruce was obviously tinkering with things, trying to see who works where, trying to just sort of shuffle his back and make make sure he can get a result out of something. But I'm ultimately, I'm pleased with the win. It's great to th th feel that. But I just feel, you know, if we'd have won that game, obviously wouldn't win the game against Birmingham, won the game against Stoke, we'd be in the playoff positions right now. And that's that's a difficult thing for me to think about the games that we've missed and the games that we could have picked up results in like we did today, but haven't. So, yeah, for me, that's annoying. And for me, that's difficult to, to take. But, yeah, today's today's game is, is, is nice to see us pick up a win. It was just a very, very boring game of football. Two teams with no intensity in them. Two teams lacking quality in the final third, I think. The amount of time Blackpool opened us up and, and didn't make the most of it. But... Yeah, that's all I've got to say on the matter. Uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, Baggies Podcast Match Day vlog. Leave your thoughts on the game below. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>